What's up guys, it's Keith with L1 Automotive Diagnostics and today we're going to do a restraint control module programming on a Land Rover. Alright guys, so we have a 2014 Land Rover LR4 Discovery, it's the small one. Uh, we have it at a collision center. They've replaced the restraint control module assembly uh, with a brand new one from the dealer. And we're going to use the Autologic Drive Pro to do the software programming event and the configuration as well as the uh, impact sensor offset calibration, which needs to be done anytime the RCM is replaced. Um, the occupancy classification system should not have to be messed with, but if it did, uh, it's a simple configuration. But the RCM itself will require software, so we're going to have to download that, and I'm going to show you that whole procedure. So, let's go check it out, guys. Alright, select Drive Pro, then select Drive Pro European. That'll get us into the European side of the tool, which is its strong suit, of course. Then we're going to select Land Rover. And from there, we're going to select Automatic Detection. That's going to communicate with the vehicle, pull the VIN number, and determine what kind of vehicle it is. And of course, it's a Ford product to some degree, so we're going to be doing a whole lot of key cycles. But that's to be expected. After it's detected the vehicle, we're going to go to Module Programming and Replacement. We're going to have to manually input the VIN to ensure there's no failure. There's a voltage warning, but we'll get to that in a minute. So let's go ahead and go over to our next page and select our restraint control module, our RCM. Yes, it's a new module. Yes, it's already been installed. So we'll tell it those two options. We're going to have to manually input the VIN number again. And it's going to tell us that our requested flash file has been added to our orders page. So we're going to have to manually go back and make sure they're sent. So basically, since software needs to be installed on this vehicle, we're requesting the tool with all the information we gathered to talk to Autologic and have it have them download the files to our tool. So if we go back to Module Programming and Order Manager, the last option there, and we go to Sent Orders on the left-hand side, or sorry, Send Orders on the left-hand side there, we'll select that. And at the very bottom, we'll click the box that says not sent. That actually is going to prompt it with the information we provided. And we're going to go ahead and click, click the send button in green. Now it shows a date and time of when it was sent. So we'll wait about 15, 20 minutes. We'll click download orders. And that time varies on their workload. It could be up to 30 minutes or more for them to get it to your tool. So we'll go ahead and click install because now we have our order there. If it was blank, we would need to wait a little bit longer for them to download to the tool. So we're going to have to close the Drive Pro software. So we went back over there and we're going to click exit. We'll tell it OK. And then we're going to have to click install again. Now this install time is real time. I did not shorten this period of time. So as you could tell, it downloaded very quickly to the tool. So we'll click OK. Then we'll back out of the orders page. We'll back out of the order manager page. We'll go back into Drive Pro European. And then we'll go back to Land Rover. Now right here at the bottom we could have clicked programming file and order manager, but I totally wasn't paying attention and just went on through to build the vehicle again. If we would have stuck there, that would have bypassed all of this re-identifying the vehicle situation and got us right to the uh, orders that we downloaded. But that's okay. Um, it's not like it takes that much longer. So we'll go ahead and click module programming and replacement. Again, type in the VIN manually, press OK. Now this voltage statement. So not only do we need to keep voltage at a stable voltage above 14.4, .4, 
we also have to do something special with the negative cable. We need to move it to a body ground or an engine block ground. And we need to do that because this module is watching for current and the battery current sensor is on the post. So we must move the voltage source away from that so it will actually meter the current that's pulled through the circuit. We'll press OK once we've determined that we've done that and we'll go and select our restraint control module again. Yes, it's a new module. Yes, it's already installed in the location. Put that VIN number in there. Now it's telling us the Drive Pro tool is going to go into diagnostic only mode. Uh, it's just saying the tool is pretty much going to be useless while we're doing this. We'll confirm that it is the RCM, that it is above 14 volts and the engine is off and we'll click start program or just the program button. All right, so at this point, the modules are gonna shut down on the network. The lights on the dash are gonna go off. It's gonna start erasing logical blocks of the module, downloading software to the module and restarting it a few times. Um, so you just wanna make sure before you click that, you've got all the loads off and the vehicle set up just the way you would need it to safely flash this vehicle uh, using the same you know, best practices we always do with module programming. And I did speed this up a little bit. It was approximately, I don't know, eight to 12 minutes of staring at a loading bar. So it was really a pretty quick flash in the grand scheme of European flashing. So it says the programming part was completed successfully. So we'll press okay. And then of course, like I said, you know, Ford had their fingers in the production of this vehicle. So there's be lots of key cycling letting it shut modules down, starting back up. It's got to do a, LIN, uh, a VIN learn procedure on this RCM, which is a one-time only deal under most circumstances. Turn the ignition off. I'm gonna turn the ignition back on because, you know, Ford. And the VIN learn is completed. Click OK. So it's going to say that routine is completed. So go ahead and click OK. So now we're going to have to do the uh, calibration of the offset level of the impact sensors. So we're just going to press continue and we're going to make sure that we're not going to touch the vehicle while this is happening. And oh yeah, some more key cycles. So this is really just the uh, module learning the zero position of the impact sensors when there's no impact or anything on them. So we'll cycle the key back off, which is position zero. This is technically a push button start, so we'll just go until the dash goes off. Now that routine is complete. And it says the entire new module configuration is complete, so we'll press OK. And we're gonna go ahead and go back a couple screens and perform our quick test. Because, you know, we programmed a module, so a bunch of stuff is going to have some communication faults. So we're going to need to go ahead and uh, get a whole test pulled up. So we'll click Start to begin the quick test. And I'll go ahead and fast forward through this as well. It's got 10 modules with faults. So we're going to click clear faults down the le left hand side there at the bottom. Just get a good clean slate on this thing. And then we'll do our quick test again. Now we're going to click view report there in the middle button or on the one to the right. And we can see in our report that all we have for codes are uh, lost communication with the transfer case control module. And that's fine because it's currently unplugged because the center console is still partially disassembled. So we'll click the email button at the top. Yes, we want to send it to our email. And it's going to give us a little message saying that it's complete. And ladies and gentlemen, we are done. Now, wasn't that easy? We'll see you next time.